Hi and welcome to the channel. My name is Tony and today I'm going to pit the Unify 6 Lite against the Grandstream GWN7630 access point. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. What I figured I would do today is a couple of different tests. I'll first go over some of the basic specs. We'll do a speed test comparison. Then we'll do an iPerf comparison without any load. And then we'll do an iPerf comparison under load where I'll be copying a 300 gig folder full of video files from my computer up to my Synology NAS. That being said, let's get on with today's video. Just a quick visual side by side. This is the Unify 6 Lite. This is the Grandstream GWN7630. As you can see, there's a considerable size difference between the two units. The Grandstream is not only larger, but it's quite a bit heavier as well. On the front, you have the Ubiquiti branding and then the blue LED light. On the front of the Grandstream, you see the branding there and there are three blue status lights. Although they may look white to you in the video, they are blue. They're already powered on and connected with an ethernet cable. So I'm going to try to flip them over to show you the other side. On the back side of the grand stream, you see there are two ethernet ports. One is PoE and network, and this is just network. On the back of the Unify 6 light, you can see that there's only one ethernet port. That being said, let's just take a quick look at the specs and then we'll get on to the testing. So we're just going to compare these basic stats right here. In this column, I'm looking at the stats for the Grandstream 7630. And in this column, we have the stats for the Unify 6 Lite. So starting with price, you can see the Grandstream unit is $120 and the Unify 6 Lite is $99. As far as Wi-Fi standard, the Grandstream is Wi-Fi 5. The Unify 6 is a Wi-Fi 6 product. You can see the different modes of PoE that each of the units support. As far as the ports, the Grandstream has the two gigabit auto sensing ethernet ports on the back, as opposed to just one for the Unify 6 Lite. As far as MIMO is concerned, the Grandstream unit is a 4x4 MIMO unit versus 2x2 for the Unify 6. However, in the 5G mode, they both support multi-user MIMO. Max transmit power, 27 dBm for the Grandstream, 23 for the Unify 6 Lite. Maximum power consumption, 16.5 watts for the Grandstream 7630, 12 watts for the Unify 6 Lite. As far as concurrent clients, the Grandstream will support 200 plus, and Unify says that the Unify 6 Lite will support 300 plus. Now here's where you get some major differences. As far as physicality, the dimensions are 205.3 by 45.9 millimeters as opposed to 160 by 32.65 millimeters of the Unify 6 Lite. The weight, 590 grams without the mount, 710 grams with the mount for the Grandstream 7630 as opposed to 300 grams for the Unify 6 Lite without the mount and 315 grams with the mount. So the first thing we're going to do is just a basic speed test using speedtest.net. I'm going to start off by connecting to the Unify 6 Lite and performing the first test. Now I'll show you that I'm connected to the Unify 6 Lite. If I go into the Unify network on my phone, there you see the Unify 6 Lite. I'll click on that and I'll scroll down to where it says users. And you can see the very bottom, it says Tony's iPhone connected to 5G at 99%. So let's bring up speedtest.net. I'm going to change the server. I just like to use this one particular server in my area and hit go. Okay, so the results, we have 397 megabits per second down and 440 megabits per second up. 
Now that's really not too bad considering I have 500 symmetrical internet. Now let's disconnect from the Unify 6 Lite and connect to the Grandstream GWN7630. And let's just bring up the same speed test. I'll go ahead and I'll pick the same server. So there's the results for the Grand Stream GWN 7630. We have 538 down and 180 up. So you can see the Grand Stream performs slightly better, actually quite a bit better on the download, but not as good as the Unify 6 on the upload. So this next part of the video will be the iPerf series of tests. We're going to do several different types of tests. I'm back on the Unify 6 Lite. This first test is going to be not under any kind of load. We're going to do an upload and download test with one stream. So we have 442 megabits per second. Let's do the download test now. And on the download, we have 392 megabits per second. Now we'll do another upload and we'll do five streams. And on average, we have 414 megabits per second. Let's do the download now and we'll do five streams. And we have four, excuse me, 247 megabits per second. So I'm connected now to the GWN7630. We're going to run the same series of iPerf tests. We're going to start with the upload and download at one stream. So we have 616 megabits per second on the upload test. Now we'll do the download test. Six hundred and two megabits per second. Now we'll do the upload test again with five streams. five hundred and ninety seven megabits per second on average and now we'll do five streams and we'll do the download six hundred and twenty megabits per second on the download at five streams now I need a few minutes to set up the next test because we're going to do the same series of tests but I'm going to do it putting my network under load. So how I'm going to do that, I'm going to run two TVs simultaneously streaming from the internet. One will be streaming on YouTube. One will be streaming from Sling TV. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you that those TVs are actually streaming because they're downstairs in two separate rooms. So you're going to have to take my word on that. And the other thing I'm going to do is copy a 300 gigabyte folder from my desktop up to my NAS. So we'll have the two TV streaming plus the copy process going over the network and we'll run the same iPerf test. Just give me a second to get all that up and running and we'll be right back to start the tests. Okay, so I finally got everything set and ready to go. Both TVs are up and running, streaming from the internet. 
The only minor change I made was instead of streaming from YouTube on one TV and Sling on the other, I'm streaming from Netflix on one TV and Sling on the other. This way, I don't have to worry about the YouTube video ending prior to me finishing the test that I'm performing here. Now, that being said, I'm back on the Unify 6 Lite, and I'm going to add now the copy process from the desktop up to the NAS. I have a folder here. It's full of some of my video projects. And if I get the info for you to see, you can see 297 gig right here. It says just about 300 gig of data in this folder. So we're going to start the copy process. I'm just going to open up the file station and I'm just going to copy it to the desktop of the file station. So I'll drag it across to begin the copy process. And you can see it says upload added screen flow, screen flow projects. And you can see the arrow that the status is uploading. And you can see that it created the folder here on my NAS desktop. If I click on the upload folder, you can see the status. Now it's going to take a few minutes to start showing the progress bar because there's a lot of data to be copied up. So now let me minimize this. I'm going to leave that copying. I'm going to minimize this screen here. You can see I have the server listening on the desktop again. I have the client loaded on my iPhone, we're going to do the same series of tests. We're going to start with one stream, upload and download. I'm on the Unify 6, and the network is now under a bit of a load. So here we go. So 439 megabits per second on the upload. Now we're going to do a download test. And 395 megabits down. So now we'll do another upload test and we'll do that at five streams. Now remember, the two TVs are currently streaming and I'm still copying that large folder from the desktop up to the NAS. And we have 451 megabits per second in average. Now let's do a download at five streams. and we have 391 megabits per second. Okay, I'm gonna leave the TV streaming. I'm going to leave the file process, uh, the copy process happening, and we're just gonna jump out of here and we're gonna switch over now to the grand stream, GWN 7630, and conduct the same tests. Okay, so now we're con now we're connected to the GWN7630. Let me bring up iPerf again. And we'll do one stream, we'll do the upload. So the average is 565 megabits per second. Now we'll do the download. Again, this is at one stream. Six hundred and sixteen megabits per second. Okay. Now let's do the upload at five streams. So we have five hundred and fifty eight megabits per second. We'll do the download test now at five streams. And on average, we have 525 megabits per second. So there you have it. 
a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the Unify 6 Lite versus the Grandstream GWN7630. What do you think? Let me know by putting your comments down in the video description below. If you found any value in today's video or just enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And again, I want to thank you guys for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions as always. Please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.